Hello everybody, we have day number 8, part number 1 of the Zero Bang World League. And we start with the duel of Australia against France. Where's Australia? There, number 1 in the setup, the first team which was chosen. And France is here. So, Australia has uh, managed to keep the wins coming in again. It is on place number six. While France is actually the exact opposite of the score of uh, Australia. While Australia has five victories and two losses, France has two victories and five losses. So... Yeah, maybe France can come back today, but maybe not. Hmm. We will see. It looks good for France when I look at this uh, constellations here. Oh, yes. Humpy Girl wins against the Fire Elemental. That is a clear, clear case here. And the Red Energy Knight not needed those plus five power. Would have been better on a different position or different uh, duel but he wins of course against the three-headed monkey oh my gosh the cyclops wins against the sea troll because air always wins against water <laughs> the moon dog he wins against the big forest spider and as a matter of fact he cannot be destroyed so no better round for Australia in the next round. And this is a draw. The water goes flies away. Oof. It's 9 to 1 in the first round. That's like, that's almost it. That's almost it. It's 6 points. That's all is needed by France now to get a draw at least. I mixed them so I can remember that. I have to get all rid of all the points on the French side here. And it is, it is a, as a matter of fact, and it's very weird, but the home teams are doing, in general, much worse than the teams who are visiting them here. So I don't know. I mean, the, the theme music, as you can hear by Joss Ryan, I love it to death. I can hear listen to it uh, all the time and I get... A certain kind of feeling when I listen to the melodies with the team but uh, not sure if it gives them luck maybe it uh, motivates the other team second round now Wompy girl wins by one point against the three-headed monkey oh. and the same act is repeated in the second position of the duel oh <laughs> Six points! It's a draw for France, guaranteed, but it is more. It is a clear win. Oh my gosh! Two to 18. France! Turning everything upside down here. So automatically, this means. Because we know, as a matter of fact already, uh, Australia will have five victories and three losses, while France will have three wins now and five losses. They will stay, but that is probably the clearest victory I've seen. I think the record was 23 against seven. Let's see if France can beat it. Oh boy, it's continuing. Cyclops wins against the Fire Elemental. That is a draw. That is a draw. And also, of course, the Sea Troll wins against the card, which is destroyed here, but it would have won anyway. Ah, Sapphire Golem also wins. <laughs> but the Moon Dog wins in the end. So it's another five points. No, the record. Could, wasn't beaten but still that is not good 
for the Australian score and France massive comeback now finally they show what they are capable of 23-7 that's a statement now we have dual Brazil against Spain the number four against the number nine and interestingly are two two things are interesting Spain lost its last duel against Thailand but could still remain on place number nine due to the good score they have and Brazil actually has the exact same points just as Egypt and South Korea so all three teams Egypt South Korea and Brazil share the second to fourth spot on the table at the moment so brazil is trying now because it's important oh to gain a victory and stay up there because it's a hard fight will spain do something against that hydra wins at least against the dark elf archer and that is not position number five as the black energy knight would wish but the gladiator just takes the advantage out of that and wins Woo! cyborg rain shoots down the flying piranhas that's the way how to do it <laughs> and the sorcerer apprentice wins against the fergal uh, but the Banshee wins against the Mugog. Now, uh, four to six. This is also how everything started against uh, Thailand. So I don't want to be the 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 person who's getting giving the bag bad omen or something. But uh, yeah, that's just what happened. Nonetheless, as we know already, the teams which are away are stronger. So maybe that is helpful for Spain in this situation. Oh my gosh, it might very well be terrible, terrible luck for, for Brazil. Although they have two water cards, so maybe one of them at least gets the victory. Yes, against the Gladiator. Double painful because he can also shoot, but it doesn't help here. The Black Energy Knight still not on the fifth position. Now it would have been a good way to do so, but the Cyborg Rain just wins. Banshee wins though against uh, the Dark Elf Archer, who is out of the game right now. Fergal loses again against the Sorcerer Apprentice with his power one. And that is the Hydra. So it is actually a win by the Mugok. Another six. Two, four. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Why is this happening? Why couldn't Spain show this power against Thailand? Another strong team they're facing right now. Okay, I have to remember I mixed. And Brazil, eight only against 12. So it could be that is two water cards. Uh, one water card is there and one uh, air card is fighting against gladiator wins against the fair goal at least he could avoid the sorcerer apprentice which shows up here that's a win for the banshee the banshee and the black energy net now he doesn't care about his fifth position anymore because he won against the dark elf archer luckily the Hydra, oh, important, wins against the Cyborg Rain. Will something unexpected happen? No, the Mugok wins and secures the victory. One, two, three, four, for Spain. <laughs> oh, very close. Brazil could almost turn the game around, but they couldn't. They just couldn't. If this would have been swapped that would have been an eight to two and the victory but it wasn't like this and spain maybe moves away now from the ninth position or maybe it stays there and brazil cannot keep up there this duel is about to be very promising we have the surprising germans against the also surprising indonesians 
Indonesians, 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 I think. Germany has table place number 13 secure, while Indonesia already is on spot number seven with four victories. Yeah, and uh, that would be a draw duel. So Germany hopes not to get in this situation. And this is the outcome. Do we have any clashes here? None! Nothing! That's gonna be interesting. Oh, Windigo wins against the Pingu Samundra who was so strong in the last duel and could get the victory for Germany against Japan. Griffin out of the game and lost against the Manticore. That hurts. Oh, this is a draw by the Fire Ghost. So, yeah, still not a clash, but that could have been a clash. That is another draw, and we have the Earth Ghost and the Fire Ghost. Oh, hopefully they don't step on each other at one point. And the Green Energy Knight is on the wrong spot. This is where the Black Energy Knight should have been the whole time. So that is only three points for Germany. Whoops, one too many and seven points for Indonesia. Very good, very good for Indonesia because now due to the destroyed card another disadvantage is happening here for Germany. A lot of draws probably because of the fact that uh, the cards weren't clashing against each other. Let's see about it now. Still no clash at all it's actually the equal cards fighting against each other which is pretty interesting because i forgot again which are the equal cards coral golem definitely wins and the earth ghost can also win against the griffin that is two points let's not forget that oh my gosh the manticore so brutal and he knows exactly where to hit the spot takes out the flying creatures from the German team and also the Windigo it's 8 to 0 Germany Oof. that is 5 to 15 I mean that is it basically unless Germany can get a 10 0 but I think it's not possible because there is actually no air card in the Indonesian team. That means Indonesia won. Due to the destroying ability, they have managed to win the match. Just depends on how high. Oh, it's a draw. <laughs> because, yeah, as I just said, no air card. Green Energy Knight, another draw. <laughs> Those draws all the time. And the Manticore, three victories in a row, does what he does best. Oh, Windigo and Griffin, another draw. And that is a victory for Germany. So it ends with another five points on each side. Still very clear result, Indonesia. Indonesia, <laughs> let's say it correctly. Wins with 20 to 10 and moves up on the table while Germany goes down a little bit again. And we have our absolute top team, the undefeatable Thailand, who will face Japan right now. Japan, funny state. They have 105 to 105 as a complete score. But on the other hand, they lost one game more than they won. Two wins, two draws and three losses. While... <laughs> Well, I think you know already Thailand has won all the games except the very first one against Germany, which was a draw. And uh, I know that some cards are not what they seem to be, but it looks as if this might be a little advantage for Japan. Without further ado, Sukubus just wins against the Highlander. He has no chance against the Spirit. 
And the air elemental, very important, plus one, he has power nine. He has power one only plus on the second position. Thailand in the lead. Oh, oh, and there is an important draw. Once again, the Spectre, so clever, gets the draw against the Nightmare Golem. Oh, but the Desert Rider wins against the Green Dragon. And that is a win for the Alpha Cat. The Air Ghost is not an Air Ghost. <laughs> Seven points lead for Thailand, who have an unbelievable high score against every single team. And I doubt... Oh, I did it. I doubt that Japan can do anything against this issue. Thailand is just dominating from the beginning to the end. And Thailand is of course the only team which has a very clear positive score uh, as a home team. Although we have been talking about this a couple of times now. Oh, oh, oh. I know that one card is not what it seems to be. <laughs> At least one. Now, that's another two points for the so strong air elemental. It's really crazy. And the Spectre, <laughs> it's not as it seems to be. Gets the points against the Highlander. Oh, the luck. <laughs> The luck that Thailand has is unbearable. <laughs> they get every card right except this one maybe. Yeah, but the rest is all perfect. 14 to 6. Why are they so good? So clearly winning everything. Wow. I never ever had expected it that Thailand would be up there. Oh no, I know, of course, they have a very, very good team. No doubt about it. And I would have been sure that they would be on the upper part of the table. But winning against every team like this, fascinating. I'm stunned. And, on, and especially the elements look as if they are winning against the other card, but then they're losing in the end. <laughs> What will this be now? That That's a win. The Nightmare Golem. And it's not a spirit card, but it has one power more. So, yeah. That is uh, surprising, but of course spirit wins against the air card. The air ghost. The air ghost should oh, at least not go against the spirit ghost. That's a draw, though. Desert Rider can catch the draw. Yeah, that's a win for the dragon. And yes, although the Desert Troll wins, that is one, two, three, four, five more points for Thailand. Seven wins, one draw, and an unbelievable high score. And Japan lost two games in a row. They have to stay strong with their moral and try to get back to their first games, which they have played very well. Our last match today will be Turkey against Mexico and Mexico only has one draw and now has to face the so strong Turkey. I mean Turkey is what let's not say so strong but two wins, three draws, the most draws than any other team and two losses and a lot of fire cards against a lot of earth cards and one of them will be facing a fire card so much is clear right now mexico and canada are the only teams which lost all their games and were drawing one and uh, star dreamer just destroys and wins as always the very first game <laughs> in the turkish team amazing Giant Tree though, Giant Tree can win two points against the Mercy Twister, yeah. Whatever the Star Dreamer is for Turkey, it is the Mercy Twister on the other side, not winning too many points. Oh, Dark Warlord plus three actually, because of the card here. 
uh, doesn't need it against the Xuxa, but uh, interesting enough how Orc Warrior just wins against the Cold Sage and yeah the Chimera just wins against the Earth Elemental so 6 to 4 for Turkey the favorite to win this game no chance for Mexico question mark or do they have the luck which they really need mix 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 and the fire cards are on the last positions again so at least one win is guaranteed on top of that win here oh it's the star dreamer though so that's a bit of a waste he reanimates the hill dwarf again oh but the xuxa the two little bearded people fight against each other there's even one more the gnomling and the xuxa is the winner oh dear yeah the giant tree again against the mercy twister could also be used in a better position and there's no destroyed card anymore <laughs> so the star dreamer did everything correct because now the orc warrior wins <laughs> oh my gosh and the chimera of course wins as well one two three four five six seven eight against one two points oh boy it is 14 to six for turkey already uh, no mexico will not get their comeback in this round turkey is just too strong with their fire cards oh gosh i don't want to know uh, i don't want to see mexico play against uh, egypt with their firepower that will be even more terrible and there goes another victory for turkey and again the star dreamer always punching on the poor hill dwarf he has just no chance and once again the giant tree against the mercy twister and once again the dark warlord <laughs> well actually he wins now because that is a destroyed unit so some points are coming back for mexico now oh chimera also wins and of course the xuxa also wins it was the exact same position as we had uh, before but i was sure i was mixing it so i mean it can happen but it just happens a bit differently uh, at least it wasn't that many points this time it's 20 to 10 but i should always double mix it i mean just in case anyway turkey was clearly winning nonetheless so or so and uh, at least the dark warlord got some points back here 20 to 10 for turkey and mexico down in the cellar and that was it actually yes <laughs> that was the last game so we will see each other tomorrow uh, with another nice game ahead i'm looking forward for that i won't uh, I won't tell too much, but it's going to be interesting. See ya.